back, everybody. It's me, Porter Rayleigh, here with you today. And in today's episode, we are going to be working on the area that we just finished deforesting in the last episode. And I've done a bit of work off camera. I actually think I recorded a little bit of that work, but um, if I didn't, I'm sorry. I kind of got ahead of myself. But anyways, this is what it looks like now. I've got, uh, I decided not to keep all of the rocks and the pods and everything. I thought it just looked a bit too busy. So this area here, I've already cleaned up a bit. And as you can tell, I've got a section here all kind of set and ready to go. I made this river of sorts. I started making it. It's not complete. I'm going to carry it on and out um, throughout this area, but I just don't have it all cleaned up to know where I want it to go and head. And I think I will bring it down to the water here as well over here. But I just wanted to have a little island here in the middle so that we can start our first build in this area. And I'm kind of thinking I want it to be like a big forge area. So my thought is we're going to have this whole area behind us covered in the, like the mangrove trees. So that's why it's kind of muddy there and got the packed mud and all that for the landscape. And we're going to do some mangrove trees in that little island. Plus, we're going to put a building there. And hopefully, I was thinking we can put some villagers in here too. I don't know if we'll get to that part today because um, I don't want them wandering off. We'll kind of see how far we get. But that's the focus today. We're going to work on that spot right there. And the first thing that we're going to need are some mangrove propagules. And we're going to grow a couple of mangrove trees and see if, well, we'll see if we like how they look and where they are. And we'll make them look all nice before we build around them with the building that we want to put there. I just need to find some bone meal. Okay, I've got some bones. Perfect. All right, let's go on down there and take a look at the area that we have to work with. Find a couple of good spots to put the trees. They're going to be kind of just on the edges here. If you... um. Okay, so this is going to change. I will make this all packed mud around, or not packed mud, mud around the border because I really like the, I don't know, the darkness of it. And I think I'll put some plant life down there and stuff. It's very, very rudimentary, whatever right now. It's fine. Okay, so let's put one here and see if we can get it to look pretty decent. Maybe it doesn't grow on the mud. Okay, let's grab a piece of dirt and see if we need dirt instead. Or maybe it's the torch. There we go. Oh my goodness. Okay, that took a long time. Yes, perfect. Okay, so we don't want the dirt there though. Let's put that back. Nice. Okay, so one. That looks pretty decent. It's not too big. It actually takes up that space really nicely. Yes, I like it. Okay, let's do another one over here. So we're going to try it on the mud and just see if that was just a torch issue. Let's pop it there. I don't know, that was 14 and it should have done something. So I guess it is dirt. There we go. Okay, maybe I do need dirt. That's a funny looking tree. I don't know if I like that one. Let's fly and see if we like that one. I really do like this one. Let's see. Um. I will keep it for now. Maybe it's okay. There we go. Oh, nice. Okay, I like this one. I like that it grows <clears throat> kind of into the area because I wanted to work with that, building it around this area. Where did the dirt go? Did I pick it up? I don't know. Okay, let's pop another one here. Nice. Oh, <laughs> perfect. Love it. Oh, did I not get that piece back? There we go. Okay, that's looking really good. I think maybe just one more over here. Perfect. Oh, nice. Okay, that's a good size too. Okay. So we'll start. Uh, you know what? I kind of want a bit more. Let's do another one. Let's do a couple more. Ooh, I did not think that one was going to grow. Nice, nice. And maybe just one more right here. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. Nice. Okay, so let's fly up and see how we like the look of that. Yes, I like that. Nice and busy and full. Excellent. Now let's grab, I think I might, hmm. 
Let's grab some supplies for the building, I guess, first. I think we need to go to the castle for that. Okay, so it's all like muddy and brown in color. So I think I want to use maybe some of the black stone for the some of the build anyways. For the like the bottom of the build, we'll use some black stone. <clears throat> maybe we'll grab some spruce wood. We'll see. I don't have anything concrete in mind for how I want this to look. Sort of like have a shape in my mind, but not holy and the colors and stuff so we're just kind of winging it in a in a way bring some pearlescent frog lights maybe let's see what do i have over here okay let's bring the smooth basalt we'll bring some of this stuff and maybe that okay let's see how far that gets us all right so let's see i kind of want to build it into the trees here we're going to start with the black stone, I believe. And we got our stone cutter. Perfect. I did remember it. Pop that down. And that. Let's see what we can come up with here. Okay, so I kind of have a little bit of the frame, I guess, done of the uh, inside part. So we would come through here and I'm trying to incorporate the trees into the build. And it just kind of loops all the way around this. And then out here, I'm going to put maybe an outside area so this is just kind of the start I might have to we'll see actually I might just leave it like that and then so that's the black wood <clears throat> and then maybe we should transition to some hmm spruce let me think all right I think I've got the shell all done at least the for six layers of it and I did a bit of blending so I hope it looks good I decided not to use the gray concrete it just wasn't looking quite right it was too bright I guess so I did just the black stone the deep slate and the polished deep slate and I think that looks a little nicer I did incorporate the branches through it to make it look more organic as well I have no windows in here yet or doors, as you can tell, and no roof, of course. So that is going to be the next part of the project. I think I want to do like colorful roofs for this area. It's going to be kind of bland, not bland, neutral. There we go. Bases and then a colorful roof. So for this one, I feel like I want to do red because it's going to be a forge and, you know, there's fire and stuff in the forge. I wonder if it would look good with like red glass and red, all things red. Hmm. I'm going to mess around with that and I don't have a solid plan in my head or anything like that. But let's go on up to our storage area and see what kinds of reds we have up here and what we can use to make a cool looking roof. I of course have the red um wood i can use like the mangrove and strip it so that's one thing i'm gonna put the spruce back because i tried the spruce out it just wasn't quite what i was going for so we're gonna just ignore the spruce and let's see what else can i drop off i'm not gonna use that and smooth basalt i didn't end up using either okay let's see red things i'm gonna try a bit of redstone in there then i've got the mangrove i'll bring both the planks and the ones that we can strip. And then what about some glass? Let's see, do I have any red glass? All right, so let's see. I've got a bunch of supplies here with me. Um, I ended up, uh, I'm gonna try to incorporate a little bit of the glazed terracotta as well. Okay, I think I've got a ton of different options here to work with for our roof. I'm, I got like all the red things I could think of. I'm not going to probably use all of them, but I kind of want to see what is going to work and what is not going to work. So that's why I brought everything with me, um, including red nether bricks. I thought that might be kind of a cool transition into the roof to start with these. I don't actually have enough nether wart, so... I'm gonna have to wait for some of it to grow, unfortunately, or I have to go to the stupid nether and collect some, which I'm not gonna do, because I have some and it's growing. But for now, uh, I thought we would start with it and just see 
if it looks pretty decent, I wonder, can I make these into stairs? I can. Okay, perfect. Let's make these into stairs and we're going to, I guess we'll start on the front side and just um, see if we can build it out without interrupting the tree. Let's think here. Ooh, I like the color of that. I think that looks really nice. I want it to go out one more that way. Okay, there. Oh, I do like that color. I think it looks really good as a roof, especially. Okay, let's do this side. All right, I've got it off by one, which is kind of actually cool. It looks really neat. I almost think I should put in... I wonder what would go there. Just something. Like that? Let's see if that looks okay. Hmm. I feel like I might just do the nether bricks. I think I need to get some more nether wart and do the nether bricks there instead. But I kind of like that it's that it's off by one, that it's uneven. I think that looks really neat. Okay, let me go. Let me go stand at my nether wart for a bit. Oh my goodness, <laughs> I came back and look who's here. Hello, buddy. What do you got? No nether wart. Boo urns. Okay. Um, okay, so I did, uh, I found actually a little bit in my other area. So we're going to just do a little bit more here. Let's see. Get rid of this. And put in this instead. And I think I might even just do one. And let's see. Yes, I like that. I really like that. That looks really cool. Okay, so let's build that out a little bit. Um, let's see, what, else, what do I have in here that I can mix and match with it? Let's maybe grab that out there. I don't really know if this is going to go well. We'll try it. I'll make stairs out of it, though. I think it'll look better in stairs. And this is all red terracotta, which I don't think is going to work. So let's do these in stairs. Oh, I don't have room. I can get rid of nothing. Um, put the torches here. Okay. Try that. All right, so we're going to take a little pause on the roof because I need some more of the nether wart. And so we're trying to grow some here just so I can keep working on this and letting it grow at the same time. I did have to um, redo it a little bit because I didn't realize that I was a little bit off on my... I don't know, calculations on where it should sit, but it still is staggered and I really like it. And I used the black stained terracotta there. I think it looks really good. And then I did um, add a couple of windows. I don't know if they're going to stay, but I just thought I would pop some in unique little shapes of the windows. And um, yeah, we'll just kind of mess around with that a little bit more later. And then back here, I'm just going to do, I decided to do kind of a circular room and I thought it would look good with the um, bricks and then some black glass going up. And so we're going to get some black glass now. No, I've got normal glass, but I gotta dye some glass to make it black. I do have a bit of gray. Um, I thought I could stagger it. So let's actually pop down some of this gray here. And I think actually for the corners, I'm going to keep the brick going up here. And then we'll, oops. Maybe I'll have to do blocks of glass because I don't know if, because it's just going to be one strip here. Hmm, yes, I think I might have to do blocks of glass instead. So I don't have a just brick going all the way around. So let's drop off a few more things. I think I need to make a chest here. I'm a little bit full in my pockets right now. So let me see here. Okay, good. Now, let me go and grab some black dye. All right, black dye acquired and black glass made. So let's pop a bunch of this up here. There we go. And incorporating the, the look of the trees in there too. That looks really cool. And then we're going to make it kind of like a dome. I think with the glass will look really nice. So let's bring it in and um, up now. All right, just need one more piece of glass. I just had not quite enough. So let's go grab a last little bit of glass here. Did I actually bring any more over? I don't think I did. Do I have any? 
No, I have to go grab it. And there we go. Now, let's see. I think if I carry this up and over. And up. And over. Let's see how that looks. Okay, now let's do some stairs in the brick. There we go. Oh yeah, that looks cool. I like that. Okay. And then this is all glass. Perfect. I might have to remove this. Maybe. We'll see. I might try to work it in. Okay. I feel like back here would be cool for the big stove. The big stove would look really cool back here. I'm just nervous because... The wood will burn, I just realized, if I put, I wonder if I put the fire, or like, would it burn this? Hmm, let's do a little test somewhere else that is not here. If I put that there, looks okay. What about if I did a campfire there? Will that make it burn? Okay, both of those seem to not be affecting the wood. So I think I can try to do... I think I can try to do the thing I want to do. Perfect. Okay, so let's dig this out a little bit. All right. We've got a little fireplace, and I think I'll make a chimney out of it up there. Continue um, the brick, <clears throat> the brickwork up. Okay, now we're gonna put a couple of campfires in here. Uh, let's do it to that level, I guess, and maybe we'll do. A couple of grates at the top. Let's see here. Let's see how that looks. I think it looks cool, and I think it'll look way better once the roof gets all the way in. So let's see, are these ready yet? I don't think so. Oh my goodness, you take forever. I can't believe we can't bow meal you. H3, okay, this one's ready. All right, and I got a door installed with the glazed terracotta kind of tracking down from the top kind of looking down and i think that looks really cool again my dirt pillar is ruining the effect here <laughs> Let's, um oops i also got a bunch of lighting not a bunch but some lighting put up around the place as well i just did some torches on chains on the um these things <laughs> whatever they're called yeah so that's all done at the front here and as i said it just kind of goes around the back i have a couple of spots where i have it all hanging so it looks like it's all lit up and nice and not just torches and i think that looks a lot better and i'm still waiting to get the rest of the roof done i've got the chimney in here and then i just have to figure out what i want to do with the rest of the space here um i think once i get the roof in all of these vines are going to stop growing in the place i don't know if i like them or not i don't think i like them so i'm happy with how this is going along we're going to pause on this um build for now because i need to wait for this nether wart and this is taking forever and i need to plant more and anyways because it's taking forever and i need to plant more and deal with that we're going to pause on that we're going to go hit the nether and work a little bit on our project in there as well today i have an idea for how i want it to look and i think it's going to be a lot um better than what i've had what i've got going on so far so i'm really excited to get going on that i'm going to make a quick one more chest here and get my pockets properly emptied for our next plan so in the nether i had that floor i was getting done there and i wasn't happy with it i was trying to make a design and i think it looks really stupid so um i saw Actually, I've done it before. I, I did it over with our sheep, um, our wool farm. I did the kind of the um, glass where you dye the glass and it looks really smoky. Yeah, it has like a smoke effect. And that's what I want to do. I think instead of a design on the floor, I want to do a smoke effect on the floor of the nether. So we're going to come up here and grab some more sand and we're going to smelt some more sand and we're going to make some more glass and i wanted to do it in the colors of the nether so the nether is 
um, purple, like the the air, the the atmosphere, <laughs> is kind of like a purple color. So, oh, the uh, sand, yes. And so I wanted to do that as like that fog effect, do it um, as a purple effect. So I don't, I, I'm pretty sure if I do have any purple glass, it's not very much. So we're definitely going to have to make some more. Let's take a look here though, quick. Nothing in that one. And nothing in that one. Yeah, so we're going to have to make a bunch of it. And I kind of wanted to see what it would look like. Um, actually, before I put that away, no, I already grabbed it all. Like a gray and a purple might be a kind of cool smoky look to it so i wanted to do kind of half gray half purple and layer it like that and see how that looks and this is all i don't think i think that's all the sand i've got unless i've got more downstairs so let's see how much sand i can get uh from what i have on hand hopefully i don't have to go mining for sand and we can oops, <laughs> and we can smelt it all up and dye it all up and get the glass kind of cool effect going. I doubt I'll get much of it done today, but I just wanted to get started on it at any rate and um, see if it looks way, I'm sure it will look way better than what we've got going on there so far. So let me just quickly peek through all of these boxes and see if I've got more sand here quick. Nope, 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 no sand. That's okay. I've got, I'm going to grab the dye and I want the purple. Do I want purple or magenta? Maybe we'll do magenta. That might look cool. And cause I have a ton of magenta, so I might as well use it, right? Um, okay, so let's go. I've got a bit more of the black dye down at where we just were and then we will head to the smelter and get the glass going here. All right, all of my glass is ready to go. So let's head on over. I should just craft it up quick. We'll do the crafting and then we'll head on over to the nether and get this going. Not the nether, the end. We're going to go to the end. Head on over to the end and get this going. all of it in apparently the ah dang it that's okay all right well i guess we're going mostly with the purple because i accidentally did it all in purple instead of the mix but i don't care it's fine well let's uh see how that's going to look okay so first things first let's dig all of this up actually you know what i don't want to do that right now let's just take a blank canvas because we're gonna do we're going to do all four quarters anyways, so let's just pick one of those corners and do a section of it instead. Okay, let's see how that looks. Let's go up nice and high and look down. Okay, it's such a tiny amount. It's such a small amount. Oh my goodness, it felt like so much. Okay, I think that's going to look cool. I think I'm going to have to do that off camera though because um, those guys are super annoying. I'm going to have to like get water and just... Yeah, I think water actually would be my best friend. Water and get rid of those dudes. Anyways, we're going to go and um, repair our wings because our wings are getting pretty low, low enough. We're out here anyways. And we're going to wrap it up for today. It's probably a shorter episode. I'm still recovering. I was quite sick. Oh no, like a week or two ago, I'm on medication and um, getting better. I would, You might still be able to hear it a little bit in my voice though. Just a little bit of a scratchy throat still that I'm dealing with. So yeah, it's been 
be quite the week. So I'm going to wrap it up here, getting rid of these guys and getting my wings repaired. And I'll do a bunch of that stuff off camera. I'm going to finish that roof. And I'm going to, oh, there we go, perfect. I'm going to um, try and get some of this more dug out and get the floor done in here. And I think then once that's all done, we could start thinking about decorating it and linking up all of these portals. So I will see you guys all later. Bye.